Hmm. 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 Yeah, he ain't my favorite though, dude. Back to back, off to I'm like, whatever. Like, I'm afraid of another planet. Chill like a villain. What was that? Oh. Chill, brother. Just a man of turbulence. Totally normal for these parts. <laughs> anyway, I've been saying all along we needed to change the scenery. So you're gonna need to find whoever took the tower down. Do my man got a mirage action? Yes, he does. Why don't you just ask the I want one of those, bro. Well, I just asked for all the legends. You feel me? Hey, buddy. I hear you're the uh, second smartest guy in the outlands. I just know something Wait. about to happen. What are you hiding something? Ooh, ooh, and I, ooh. <laughs> Kids got some moves. Haha, <laughs> Gilbert, you're funny. I mean, Gibraltar. I was not with Gilbert. I don't know why. Oh snap! Look at the blizzard coming, man. Look at the weather. I wonder if we actually be able to experience the weather and doing the map, like snowing, active snowing, and rain. That'll be hot. Yo, look at the structure. Look at it. That's hot. Okay, okay. Oh. Open up. Ooh. Okay. That's right for you, baby. Oh. He didn't show the shot my man pack. Okay, creep the light. He about to go to work. Boom. 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 Oh, so the green man finna be his weapon of choice. That's seven. I'm finna I mean, I'm, I'm a pair of one man with crypto. I, I ain't the biggest fan of crypto. That definitely be high B in video. B in Apex match. Definitely not be in there with those young. With the smoke. You be mad, man. Yo, look at this train. I bet they're drinking hot good loot. Better. That's gonna be a hot spot for sure. That's gonna be a hot zone all day, every day on the map coming off of the Ooh, boom! Yo, I, I think that's the new energy gun. The one that takes longer charge time, but super accurate and powerful. That's it. Oh, man, this joint look crazy. It's on a whole new planet. Oh, this is about to go down, down. Let's get into this video, bro. Say no more. All right, DC Gaming Game. So, if you're not living in a rock, just a few hours ago, about three hours ago to be exact, at the time that I'm recording this, I probably won't be uploading this to later. Different story though. Apex had just released a new event trailer, specifically a new map trailer for season three. So season three will begin a new map, a new gun, and a new legend. It's finna be extra litty. So if you go on Google, whatever search thing you have on your phone or device, and type in Apex Legends new map, you will see an array of articles popping up, right? So I've picked out about three or four of article of these articles to read from and let y'all know what's good and all the different features and what we can expect from the new map and new features of season three. I just released a Let's Talk video yesterday and I already told y'all then that I'll probably come out a new um, video very soon as new information started rolling out before the start of season three very soon in about four days. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also, you will be noticing this time around, I don't have gameplay footage on the other side of the screen. This time, I have pictures and footages related to Season 3 on the other side of the screen while I go over all the features and details of Season 3, new map, character, and guns. Primarily, we're talking about the new map because I pretty much went over everything about the guns and the character in my yesterday Let's Talk video. So, if you haven't seen that, link will be in the description below. Let's get it. All right, first up on the list of articles is from the official EA website. You got to start off with the official website first on any of these videos you did. So Apex Legends Season 3 Meltdown coming October 1st. Turn up the heat on a new map. Season 3 Meltdown brings a new, a brand new map into the burning coal of World's Edge, forging fire and ice. So I already showed you all the video in the beginning of this video. And you also see a replay on the side of the screen, maybe once or twice, um, as I go over all the articles. Depending on how long it takes me to read all these articles, um, I don't know how many times I would have edited to play on the side. Moving forward. 
New legend crypto, cool, calm, and collected crypto deploys special lots of villain drones to stay in the fight and out of the spotlight, as we talked about. All new battle pass, over 100 exclusive items, including legendary scans, Apex packs, new battle pass content, making a season 3 debut, and more. New weapon, charge rifle, carve your way across the arena with the obliterating directed energy white. Ooh, energy weapon sorry and then rank series 2 show off your skills in a new series of rank mode drop in hot and put your enemies on ice I won't be reading really learn more because I did that in the last video about season what is it called about rank series 2 so if you want more information on that visit ea.com link will be in the description below or visit up my video that I just posted yesterday check that out alright now let's move on to the next article article number Two, Apex Legends Season 3 comes with a brand new map and it has a moving train. I was wondering, was it actually going to be moving like it is in the in the trailer or was it just going to be like a stagnant one? This is like somewhere posing a map. So the fact that it actually moves in the game, hopefully, it's freaking awesome. World's Edge arrives alongside new legend crypto next week. Respawn made a bombshell announcement for its Apex Legend Battle Royale shooter this morning, revealing a brand new map for its upcoming third season that's arriving in just a few days. The new destination called World Edge is where molten heat and chemical ice collide, indicating players will be facing off in extreme temperature environments. So I wonder would that affect your gameplay going cold area would slow you down if it's hot, would I get go against your uh, health bar oh that's super cool if it does bro in a season trailer for the map we can see both icy and lava filled battlefields and they plot on an existing drop ship there's also a moving train which should add a very interesting mobile element to world's edge now i haven't watched the trailer just yet i watched like a second of it only because i wanted to record myself watching it will record it and like kind of do like a voiceover of me watching it and like my reactions. And that will be in the very beginning of the video. So y'all have already seen it by now. Respawn says that the location alongside new legend crypto will be arriving with season three next week on October 1st. Beyond the news of a new arena to compete in, the reveal of a secondary Apex Legend map also highlights a shift in strategy for Respawn. Although the studio may have been planning a second map for quite some time, it has never openly talked about whether Apex Legend will be modeled more like player on player unknown's battleground which features multiple maps in, in rotation or up is fortnite which has one constantly changing setting there are some rules and fortnite may shake up their formula with its upcoming season 11 um so one thing i do want to know is will we be able to choose the map we can play on or will it automatically just be world's edge map or what was it called world edge or what was it called? i'm sorry yep yeah, world's edge right or like, can we choose from Canyon, World's Edge, or to automatically make us play in World's Edge no matter what? Because it would be interesting because I'm sure they're going to be continuing the town takeovers. So it would, to me, it would seem like it would make more sense to keep Canyon as well as World's Edge and continue the town takeover in World's... Continue the town takeover in Canyon. Perhaps maybe actually doing Crypto's town takeover in the new map. Seeing as kind of make more sense since he's a new character in a way. But these are all theories and speculations um, let me know what you think and if you agree or not. I mean, we're going to find out one way or another in a few days, so. Now with the World's Edge reveal, it's pretty clear response taking the former approach, and that's probably a good thing. Apex Legends is at its core a competitive first-person shooter, and it relies less on the environmental storytelling that has made Fortnite so appealing to players both hardcore and casual. So it's less necessary for Respawn to build out a single, ever-evolving location, and more imperative the studio give players dynamic arenas to fight in. Here's hoping Respawn comes up with clever ways to keep both maps fresh and popular simultaneously, which can be a struggle if World Edge proves far more fun than games initial king kane's location i won't mind if it's better though i mean season three's coming i went a bang and i feel like from here's only gonna go up and they really gotta you know they trying to really height i think respawn is really trying to heighten the battle royale genre i mean it's still a relatively new game it's only going into his third season where you have fortnite that's 10 plus seasons and when i say he's trying to make play catch up but it doesn't have to do something to differentiate themselves from hardcore Fortnite fans to bring them over to Apex as well. So, honestly, if it's better than King Kane, that's cool. It's supposed to evolve. It's supposed to get better. King Kane is always be the OG map, of course. I don't think that'll never decline tremendously. But we're always going to be looking forward to new maps. 
I mean, that's going to shake up gameplay in a whole new level. Having to find, like, discover a whole new map. I'm still struggling and still working on Memorize King Canes. Like, I pretty much got it down now, but I don't really know all the names. So I haven't learned new names, new location, new little hidey holes, and different ways to use the map to your advantage. That's going to be fun as hell, and I think people are really going to enjoy that initiative. Let's move on to article number three. All right, so we're back with article number three, which is by Polygon, which is a pretty reputable uh, website I'm sure many of you heard of, of about. It gives information about just about any and everything up and coming. So Apex Legends is getting a new map called World's Edge, all right? The new arena is a clash between ice and fire. This one includes tweets, so that should be interesting, the record from Apex. Apex Legends Season 3 is almost here, and while Respawn has revealed a few things already, like Crypto, the new legend, or the new charge rifle, I'm going to actually click on that new charge rifle and see if it has some more information because we didn't have a lot of information in the yesterday's video of the charge rifle. Only a little bits and pieces. It seems it was saving the big surprise for last. Thanks to a new announcement trailer, we now know that Apex Legends is getting a new map called World's Edge part of Season 3. Apex Legends. This is a direct tweet from Apex Legends. Welcome to World's Edge, a new Apex Legend map where molten heat and chemical ice collide. Join our cast of legends, including the new legend Crypto, on the dropship as they whisk from planet Solace towards World's Edge on planet Talos. So there is also, I believe, a new planet, if I'm not mistaken, I was reading about. Super damn cool, bro. I love the storyline that goes in with this Battle Royale. There's so much different than most Battle Royale. I think the only other Battle Royale game I knew that kind of had a storyline which really wasn't the storyline, was really just the um, story mode that went with it was MC5, a mobile game. So this is a whole nother level. Like, honestly, if they made Apex Legends to a cartoon or anime, I would watch the hell out that show. Our cinematic doesn't, really, doesn't reveal much about the map, and it's CG rather than gameplay. But we can gather a few details from what we see. While King Kang is mostly desert, this message seems to give player a lot more biomes to explore there's a snow covered mountain range and glacial formation in one area while another area is covered in dense hard rock and molten lava again i'm super excited to find out what each portion of ice and like lava would do to you specifically in regards to your move and i like, would cold slow you down would lava burn you it's going to be pretty cool okay like what happens if you throw like certain type of grenades within the lava makes some type of i don't know reaction it's going to be awesome the standout feature from the trailer seemed to be a train that the legends are fighting on top of. If the train really is on the map, it could spend the entire match zipping around the map bringing loot, but also giving player a mobile platform to fight on. That's going to be freaking cool. And like if you're on a storm, Vic, in a storm, and it's going out of the storm, you hop on that sucker, loot up while you're out going out the storm, it's going to be cool. This is just our first glimpse at the new map, but Respawn is sure to reveal more in the coming days. Rose Edge is set to arrive in Apex along with the start of Season 3 on October 1st. So, like I said, as long as they roll down information for Season 3, I will be doing videos continuously to roll out the information to you all as well. Let's move on to the next article. Right, so the final article I picked is from PC Gamer. Uh, but that's just getting a new map and it has a train. Pretty much kind of repetitive, but each one kind of reveals a little more details. Because each one is done by the real writer, different writer with different perspectives. Alright, so the latest hard detail about Apex Legends Season 3 is a big one. Apex Legends is getting a completely new map next week. A new cinematic trailer seen above doesn't reveal every corner of the new environment, but it shows us several major landmarks and biomes, including lava and plenty of snow for players to sled. Oh, I never thought about that. Man, you go down like a snowy so you should theoretically go down super fast in a slide. That would be awesome for gameplay. I approve of this new planet. Caustic can be heard saying in the trailer indicating that World's Edge place takes place on a new rock entirely. I wouldn't interpret every frame of the cinematic trailer as a as a one one reference of the map, but we'll play next week. But the difference between this and King Kane's are major. For the first time, Apex will feature ice and snow and a train that pierces that cold. Naturally, the train is loaded with loot which will probably make it an attractive contested position along the lines of King Kane's current dropships. Standing out on the trailer is a massive piece of the industrial equipment snap, snapped by bright blue ice, along with two clearly visible urban areas with more than six tall buildings in each zone. The geothermal terrain looks straight out of a cartoon, glowing red and wrapped in curved rock spikes. At first, it seemed like Apex was following the path laid by Epic and Fortnite, aggressively altering a single map hand-in-hand -hand with promotional events that added giant creatures, stunt parts, and new structures to loot. Clearly, Respawn is going in a different direction. Season 3 arrives October 1. First, 
We still don't have details about how the structure of the battle pass may change the respawn poorly received mid-season event. So it was one thing I uh, actually tried to do in the last article, which is we see if it had further information about that rifle. So I'm getting ready to check that out. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. You dicks. So an extension of, I think, the third of, yeah, the third article with Polygon. This is second would be the fifth article. Uh, it talks a little bit about the new rifle, and I really want to try to see if I can get some more information on that. So let's get it. Apex Legends Season 3 brings a new character named Crypto and the new charge rifle. Apex Legends second season has almost come to an end, and that means Season 3 is right around the corner. With the new season set to start October 1st, Respawn Entertainment has given us our first glimpse It was next for Apex Legends. Among the new additions for Season 3 will be the game's newest character, Crypto, as well as a new charge rifle weapon. As with the first two seasons, the biggest new addition to Apex Legends for Season 3 will likely be the new character. Ah, see, this, 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 that's the funny thing about this because this article was written like a day or two ago. Little do they know, biggest reveal was the freaking map, baby. This time around, Crypto will be joining the fight, and Respawn made a snazzy animated cinematic to introduce him. While we don't know what his abilities in the arena will be just yet, he's definitely got a hacker flair to him, and he's likely to tap into that with his playstyle. I know some, if y'all seen the cinematic trailer, he used his freaking drone like a grenade, then he had to shoot down things. It was freaking awesome, and I can't wait to use it. As for other additions coming to this, coming this season, I hope he calls the same price. I mean, I have, I think, about 20,000 Legend Coins or something like that saved up. Would have had more, but I ended up buying Caustic like a week or two ago. As for the other addition coming to the season, we don't know much about them either. Charge Rifle could be something like a gun that fires a continuous beam. So the announcement describes it as a directed energy weapon, but we'll have to wait for more details on it to know for sure. This season will be introduced a new battle pass, which Respawn says will include over 100 exclusive items, but we haven't seen any of those yet. So most speculations say that the new rifle is going to be very similar to um, Titans. I've never played Titans, but if you have and you know about that gun... Well, then you're in for a treat if you love that gun from Titans and it'd be coming over here. Respawn doesn't give a few extra details on Apex Legends Ranked Series 2, which will start alongside Apex Legends 3rd Season. Respawn has an in-depth post that describes the changes coming with the, this next iteration of Ranked. Rank. But it seemed like the developers were fairly happy with Series 1 and mostly making minor improvements, but most notably, there will be a soft reset of all players ranked at the beginning of the new series, which we talked about. This will ensure that everyone, even those few players who have reached the Apex Predator rank, will have the chance to climb when the new series begin. Season 3 of Apex Legend won't launch. I never realized how repetitive that sounds. So you re to a position you was already at? It's interesting. Spawn will probably release a few more details in the weeks leading up to the beginning of the season. Which they have, which we went over, and if they continue to release more in the next few days, I'll be keep doing these videos, so stay tuned. So... That concludes pretty much this video. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you're most excited about. The gun, the character, or the freaking map. Personally, I think of the map. Um, but October 1st, I will be trying to do a live buying a character. I'm going to try to use the character as much as possible. But I know people are going to be clamoring to use crypto. But we definitely going to be checking out that new map though. You feel me? Alright, so again, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for post notification of all future videos. And stay ahead of the game and ahead of the curve with information on Season 3 up and coming, baby. We're almost a 100 strong, 100 subscriber celebration live coming soon when we reach it. Let's get it. As always, this was your girl, DC Gamer 202. And I just came at y'all with another Apex Legend Let's Talk video. This will be mark number three. Links to both will be in the description below. Links to all uh links to all the articles will also be in the description if you ever want to go over in your own in your own leisure. And with that said, I'm out. Alright, DC Gaming Game. So if you're not living in a rock. Gamer staring at the TV set, play that. Let me see that Genesis. Gamer staring at the TV set, play that. I wanna see that NES. <sighs> come play with me, come play with me. Some PSP, some 360, some PS3. Work them sticks, gamer. Gamer staring at the TV set, play that. Let me see that Genesis.
Gamers.